Hello, folks. You know, my dad flew a Beach AT-7 twin in World War II as a flight instructor. He told me the closest airplane that handled like it was actually the Douglas DC-3. And I'm using a technique that the History Channel uses a lot for old airplanes. Well, you know, I've found that of all the airplanes and helicopters I have flown, DC-3 really is my favorite. But it's just extremely easy to fly, the rudder is really nicely responsive, and there's no tendencies for it to stall. Um, I find it has absolutely incredible lift when the flaps are down, and I can make quite short takeoff and landings. There's also something sweet about hearing those twin 1200 horsepower radios. In Germany, the Douglas DC-3 is mainly known as the Raisin Bomber. During the Berlin airlift in 1948 to 1949, Berlin was served with this aircraft up to 1,398 times a day at peak times. Wow. The DC-3 was very reliable with its maiden flight in 1935. A total of more than 15,000 machines were built, among others, with license from Douglas for the Soviet Union and Japan. And with the two 1,200-horsepower twin radial engines, the DC-3 reached a top speed of 398 km per hour, or about 247 mile per hour. Now, as you're watching this, you got to remember, this is a model airplane I'm demonstrating on. You know, size is set for 200%, and I've got the wind set for variable at about 18 mile per hour. When I'm flying the sim and standing on the ground, it's really important for me to have the compass on and the wind indicator on the upper right-hand corner of the screen. So please enjoy the flights, the scenery, all done on location at the Lee Finding Earth Field in California. You know, my motto and what I practice is that I can do all the wild stuff in the air, but if you can't pull off a good landing, it don't mean nothing. 